What is up? Welcome back to Millican Fishing. We got a super exciting episode today. I'm out here with my boy Dylan from 402 Fishing. We're chasing some, some interesting critters in this little lake. This little lake right here actually has some muskies, fish of 10,000 casts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out for a few hours, try to catch some bass, use some bass fishing techniques. Of course, I got some big swim baits, some whopper plopper stuff like that tied on, and hopefully we can get one of those muskie. My boy over here, he fishes it quite a bit, and so uh, he says that that's, that's the main thing he catches them on is bass gear. So hopefully we'll do that catch a couple good ones but i'm super stoked there's giants there's been giants caught in here i uh, had a really really big one fall a swim bait earlier this spring so i'm super psyched to get out there let's do it all right we made a long run to the boat ramp um starting right here with the old big beaver like i do so often nice and cool this morning sun's about to come up it's launch sticking time Try the old double plop. I've yet to catch fish on it. Till today. Maybe. If I get a muskie on this, there's about a 100% chance it's gonna straighten the hooks. Because I didn't switch them out. Well, that was fun. People ask me almost every video to do a boat tour. I'd have to clean my boat for about four hours before I could even do that, I think. It is everywhere in every compartment right now. That'll babe. Maybe I should put a D-bomb on, huh? <laughs> nice work, man. All right, we're on the board. Not a big one or a musky, but we'll take him. Well, we keep seeing these musky surface chasing shad, so I got this big guy on. It's a big old glide bait, River to Sea. This is the 200, 200 millimeter. It's like an eight inch bait. Don't seem to want anything to do with that though, but uh, maybe once the sun gets up a little bit higher, they will eat this. We're at, we only got one fish on the board so far, one little bass. We're gonna go fish some different stuff though. We're, uh, we'll fish this little portion of the lake right down there, but now we're gonna fish this bigger stretch of the lake. Hard to leave these muskies alone though. They're surfacing, crashing shad everywhere next to us. Things could get real pretty much any second. Pretty stoked. Damn. I might put the D-bomb on. One more of those and I'm doing it. Nice one. All right. There's fish in here on the D-bomb. Using my bait, whooping me with it, makes sense. Drop the poles, we found them. Maybe. Guess I could set the hook. He got everything on my deal, that doesn't happen very often. Got every flapper on there. Population is waning. Dude, that's got to be a musky. Yeah, the way he ate it and went straight sideways, it's definitely a good fish. He was 10 feet from the tree by the time I lifted up on him. Well, folks, just had a bite, and uh, that's the remnants, which really leads me to believe that was likely a musky. I know this is a, a really exciting video of me telling you about the fish that I almost sort of maybe caught and had a bite from, but yeah... That, uh, that usually doesn't happen with bass, so we're gonna keep flipping around. Hopefully one of these laydowns up here has another one of them in there. Yep. Yep, there's musky chasing bluegill right here. Seriously. I thought I saw a big freaking flash of one, and then I saw a giant swell right there, and then a bluegill just took off. Got him. Beauty. Must be a bass. Oh, it's good. It's good. Ooh, that's a good one. Hooked up with the. Ooh, that is a real good one. Yeah. Donkey. <laughs> Dude, that's a fatty. 
I wonder if it's the same one. Yeah, Billy. Dude, that's sick. That was probably close to five. Real close. Yeah, he's a fat he's one. Thick. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Bring people fishing and they outfish me. I'll take it. Nice one, Woo. man. All right, so uh, luckily we didn't uh, call it quits quite yet because yeah, those man. guys are swimming in here. We might uh, we might be staying here for just a, a second or two longer after that guy. Well, we are about uh, three and a half hours in. I have yet to catch fish, so it's been a really, really good video so far. Dylan's caught two little ones and then one slaunch, largemouth, just kind of out off the bank, kind of in the middle of nowhere. But uh, I think I lost a muskie, bit my bait in half. And besides that, it's been a whole lot of nothing. So we're calling an audible. This just turned into another lake hopping video, like I say. If you're not catching them one place, check out what's nearby, go catch them there. So that's what we're hopefully gonna do. We're gonna have a totally new change of scenery. This new, this next lake is like super clean, we hope. This lake's usually pretty clean, but it's like six inches to a foot of visibility today. Really algaed up. That's what you gotta battle this time of year. Let's get to the next lake. You good? All right, lake number two, and you can already tell the water, get away from me, bug, does not look like a number two, so I'm psyched. It's time to catch some slaunches. I hope, please, slaunches. All right, like number two, I uh, tied on a swim jig. I know you'd never seen me throw a swim jig before. I had a chatterbait on, some a little bit more natural. I'm gonna tie a natural flipping bait, throw the wing ding a little bit. Cleaner water, although there is some algae in it. Let's go. Middle of the lake the whole time. There we go. I can catch a fish. He freaking digested the worm. Yes, my first fish. Of course, I had to pick up the magic worm to get a bite, but it's a good sign. We just got here. Already got one. All right. Amateur hour. Oh, little guy. Chase me to the boat. Yeah, little, little though. Uh-huh. Watch Tim come eat it. Yeah, he thinks he's huge. Not that bad. All right, got one on the wing, ding. We sight fished him. Right in front of the helicopter. Oh, God, did not let him take it at all. I found one frogfish. God, that one crushed it. Little guy, though. Hey, a fish. Another big one. Another, yeah, this one's huge. I might need a bigger net for this one. That looks about right. Well, it's not much, but it feels good to feel a tug today, as tough as it's been. Sometimes you gotta bust out the old wing ding. All right, well, we just got off the lake and uh, pretty much got swerved by the bass today. I don't know if it's the, uh, the fall transition that's making things tough. We had bluebird skies, very, very little wind. Muddy water at the first lake, algae water at this lake. It's usually really clean. It's got a couple foot visibility, but just a tough, tough day. But sometimes that's how it goes. Luckily, 
Dylan caught a good one, a real good one at the first leg. So uh, I'm glad we got that on video. But besides that, it was a bunch of dinks. It was the, uh, the nursery, as Flair would call it. But I will still go ahead and link everything down below that I used in the video. So click on that. Go check it out. Go check out Dylan over here, 402 Fishing. Go subscribe to his channel. But uh, for now, that's about all I got. You'll catch me back in a couple days. Got a really exciting video. I'm about to go shoot it right now since we got 500 thumbs ups on the last video. I'm just going to leave it at that. That's what we're going to go do next. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch, though. I am out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop with a love like mine.